so excited to be throwing away all this junk. I have some pretty random favorites for you. So starting off with probably one of the most random things and these are earplugs. And these are the Flans Quiet Time NRR 3340 pair earplugs. I got them at Walmart a while ago and who goes through a big thing of these of earplugs? I do and I have been using earplugs for about oh gosh like six years and ever since I started using them I got used to them. I am I'm not a heavy sleeper. I get I, I wake up pretty easily to you know certain noises or stuff like that. Um, so yeah, these are really good and I have another big one of these and I'm using them right now so I've already repurchased them and I will continue to repurchase them. Vite Facial, oh god it's in Spanish, but these are just the facial um, wax strips. I really like them, uh, it's what I use sometimes myself like on eyebrows and the upper lip and that kind of stuff hair that we don't want. Uh, something I do want to point out though is that they come with these perfect finish wipes and they're just wipes saturated in some, I don't know, some oils and fragrance. I would not use, I've never used them before but I I wouldn't recommend people using these just because they're highly fragranced and if you're sensitive if you have sensitive skin these might not be good for you. So what I use instead um, here's a tip. If you have an oil-based cleanser, use that instead to remove any wax residue. For instance, uh, I mentioned this in one of my fa last favorite videos, but this is the Red Number One Purity Cleansing Balm, and this is a balm that turns into an oil. So it turns into an oil, then it turns into a thin milk once it's mixed with water. So what I do is after I wax, I just dab a little bit of that on the skin and then add water and then remove it with a flannel just as I would by regular, regularly cleansing my face. So yeah, that's a tip for you. Don't, don't use these. Now, a friend on Instagram, <laughs> I posted today's face of the day, which is very simple, but I mentioned that I hate this mascara and it's the Voluminous Million Lashes. This is by L'Oreal and I hate it so much and she was like just throw it away. Life's too short to use stuff that's bad. This is so shitty. I'm going to show you the wand because I guess everybody likes to see what it looks like and that's it. You know what? Sometimes with mascaras I'll like the formula but not the brush or the other way around. But this brush is so shitty, like it even hurts to apply like my upper rim, I don't know why. And it's, see it's very wobbly, I don't know, I just really dislike it. I have this issue with my eyebrow, uh, eyelashes, my bad. They're so straight and just stiff like that, so I need something that holds the curl. This doesn't do anything, it barely lengthens, but that's about it. It doesn't volumize, it just doesn't do anything. So here's another random for you, OB Pro Comfort Tampons. These are just the regular, it's a box of 40 tampons, went through those and I really like this brand. I think that the OB uh, tampons, I was going to say something else, the OB tampons are, oh uh, gosh, are very comfortable and yeah, I really like them and I mean they do the job if you know what I mean. Uh, these are, uh, these are just uh, this is a Target Floss, and I said these first because it comes in uh, this little packet of like packet of three, and it's just floss. But you know what? I bought it because it was a Target brand, and it was cheap. It was the cheapest one available, and I was like, I'll just grab that. It's floss. But you know what? I'm going back to regular floss. Just you know the I forgot what is it Oral B. I forgot what. You know, the brand that's always there, the most common brands, whether it's Colgate or whatever. Wait, I have a tick. Sorry. Um, I, I didn't like it. Uh, it tends to break, to snap, and it, it's just really uncomfortable when you're going to Space NK. And these are the Serge Normand, or Normand, Metasilk Shampoo. And this is the shampoo and the conditioner. And I... 
used these and my hair was really nice. I used it them before going to the salon to blow dry my hair and my hair looked really beautiful on like today's date. Uh, it's really humid outside and my hair is really frizzy. But I'll post a picture somewhere now. So as you can see, my hair looked really good at the end. So I would not, I wouldn't buy those, but they were good. I'm not saying they're bad. This is a sample that lovely Gabrielle, uh, I'll write down her uh, Instagram username somewhere here. She was kind enough to let me participate in a giveaway that she had on Instagram and I want some brushes which is pretty awesome and she also sent some samples and this was one of them and it smelled so good. If you like coconut you will like this. This is the 100% pure coconut nourishing body cream. It's 100% natural and vegan. It says www.100percentpure.com I guess that's the name of the brand. It just smells so good. Again, it was very moisturizing. You know, it's coconut oil. It was really lovely, and I would purchase this. So thank you, Gabrielle, for sending that. These are the Elf Shine Eraser Tools Oil Blotting Sheets. I got these at Target, and oh, sorry, by the way, if you've seen my nails, I need to get them done, I know. Anyway, I get these at Target. They're only a dollar, and I love them because they get the job done. I've seen blotting sheets that retail for about seven dollars, ten dollars, even twelve to sixteen dollars. I don't know. Personally, I just if I'm using oil blotting sheets, I just want them to absorb the oil, and that's it. And these get the job done. They're only a dollar. You can't go wrong. I will continue to repurchase these. Carista Specifique. Um. It's in French. Hypoallergenic Hydro Soothing Shampoo. It comes in this blue thing. I don't have a sensitive scalp, but I just wanted to try it because I really like Carousel shampoo uh, shampoos, and this was no exception. It was really good. It almost made... I, I used it more like a clarifying shampoo, even though it's not a clarifying shampoo, but it just made my hair feel so clean. Uh, and yeah, I really like it, and I would repurchase it feels so good to throw stuff away. This is so old. Uh, I feel gross holding this and even confessing and admitting to you guys that I've owned this for about four and a half years. <laughs> and it's the Tresemme Nourishing Rituals Liquid Gold Shine Therapy. I like Tresemme products. I really do. I think they're great quality for you know, they're, they're cheap in price, but the quality of them is so good. This was good, but it wasn't that good. And it just kind of sat there in my shower for a long time. And um, I guess that explains that it wasn't the best thing out there. So I am excited to throw it away. Okay, these I loved. One of them I had tried before, and it's a Caudalie. I love Caudalie. I've never tried anything that I dislike from them. I've liked everything. This is a Caudalie Venusaurs SOS Serum. I've owned this before, but this was a sample. It is so moisturizing, but not greasy, not thick. It absorbs pretty quickly, and it is a drink of water if you have dehydrated skin. I highly recommend that. If you have, it doesn't matter if you have normal skin or oily skin, whatever, it's suited for all skin types and it is amazing. Uh, I love this. This is the Venusaurus Moisture Recovery Cream and again, it's another sample. I fell in love with this. Yeah, now, it doesn't leave your skin greasy at all. My skin felt so comfortable after using this and the best part is that all my dry patches at the Tarte Pure Maracuja oil or my Fresh Sea Berry oil could not cure it, this cured it and I love it and yeah, I hope I get it uh, for Christmas. This, uh, I didn't finish this as you can see but it is so bad. This is a Dior Nail Polish Remover. Why did I even get this? I... The salesperson fooled me. She wanted to make commission, and she did. It's so bad. It's just, it's really bad. 
I would soak a cotton ball with this and it wouldn't get anything off, just barely there and then you basically go through the product so fast and I am going to throw it away because it doesn't do anything. I'd rather use some cheap nail polish. This is the Oracasio Relaxing Lavender Shower Tablet. I, When I saw this, I thought it was brilliant because I've always wanted to have a bath to put in my essential oils and, you know, the steam and the relaxing scents, but I don't have a bath, I have a shower. So when I saw these, I was so excited to try them. And they work. They're basically shower tablets. You put them in your shower with hot water running and then, not hot, but kind of medium, you know, out there. And, it, you know, you, you smell the essential oils and it's great and the smell is really good. It's pure. It's not fragrance or anything. It's real essential oils or organic. The only bad thing is that the tablet dissolves so quickly and the smell doesn't linger as much as I wish it did. Other than that, it is a great product. I have, this is a lavender one, it smells divine. I also have a peppermint one that I have to go through. And yeah, I would highly recommend these. They're very relaxing after a long day. So yeah, that's it. I'm excited to be able to throw it away. Thanks for watching and I hope that you found some things that are not worth buying and some things that you might want to now try. And I wish you all a happy day. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Mwah. Bye.